Well, guys, happy day, and welcome to another episode of Snapper Lytical. Guess who I got with me? Chocolate. You wear them glasses? This is Snapper Lytical, babe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know. So, anyway, guys, what is going on? He tell he needs to go and look at some of Snapper Lytical's content because he is late. I know what goes on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Further and <laughs> everywhere. everywhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, guys. So we have and we actually have content on Sebo and Snapper that's talking about prepping. And then we did a live talking about it just for general purposes, as if there was something that would happen over here. It could be dealing with the weather. Or who knows? You know, we have earthquakes over here in California. So I that's kind of also stuff. is a, a reason to prepare. But this particular video I saw is in, was in regards to stockpiling before next month. We know what's going on right now. Before next month. It says before next month. It says I this is just was just a stockpile video in general. So next no, month. Boo. So uh uh-uh. uh do I think do I have to do my tongue like that when I <laughs> <laughs> Oh but this is I feel like this is related to what's going on now over in Israel. So let's just tap in. We definitely want to be prepared and we want your families to be prepared and at least raise the level of awareness for you guys so you can make a decision for yourself. All right. Hey there, fellow preppers. So you're looking to stay ahead of the curve and ensure your pantry is brimming with essentials before next month rolls around, right? Well, you're in luck. I've got some inside scoop on eight grocery products that you should definitely consider stockpiling right now. Trust me, you'll be patting yourself on the back when you're sipping that cup of tea or cooking that perfect meal while others are scrambling to find these in the stores. Now, before you get out that shopping list and pen, let's dive into the whys and hows of these products. The reasons could range from predicted shortages, price hikes, or even just the sheer convenience of having them in abundance. Whatever the reason, these items have made it to the must-have list for the coming weeks. Are you ready to fill up that shopping cart? Here are the eight grocery products you should stockpile before next month. Number eight, frozen ground turkey. You might be thinking, why frozen ground turkey when there are so many meats out there? Well, let me tell you some of its perks. Firstly, if you're on the hunt for a leaner meat option without compromising on taste, ground turkey is your guy. It's packed with protein, which, as we all know, is the building block of our muscles. But here's where it gets even cooler. It's also a stellar source of essential nutrients. Ever heard of B vitamins? Yeah, it's got loads of those, especially niacin and B6. And let's not forget selenium, a mineral our bodies appreciate. Hmm. So, nutritionally speaking, it's a powerhouse. Now, when you toss that turkey into the freezer, it's like putting it into a time capsule. It just sits there, preserving all its goodness for months on end. So, if you're the type who likes to be prepared and have a stockpile of food, just in case, frozen ground turkey should be on your list. It's like having a little insurance policy in your freezer. But what about when it's time to actually cook? Oh, the possibilities are endless. Picture this. It's burger night, and instead of the usual beef, you have a juicy turkey patty that's been seasoned to perfection. Wait a minute, is this a Wendy's commercial? No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is for all you carnivores out there, because we don't, I don't eat turkey, but yeah. Or perhaps you're making spaghetti, and you crumble some ground turkey into the sauce. The magic lies in its ability to morph into whatever you want it to be. Its mild flavor is like a blank canvas ready to soak up the symphony of spices and flavors you introduce it to. They sell you Number on seven, ground turkey. peanut butter. Peanut Packed butter. With protein, healthy fats, and essential nutrients like potassium and magnesium. Mm. It's an excellent energy source and can keep you full for longer, making it a popular choice for athletes and anyone looking for a quick, nutritious snack. From a culinary standpoint... Now, I totally agree with that. Like, if something go down and you have peanut butter, peanut butter is really going to get be sustainable. Filler, and yeah. think about it, if you have just alone, let's say if you had... um. Um, a peanut butter sandwich. Let's say you had a peanut butter sandwich and three scoops of peanut butter. You be you really could be done for the day if you're going through stuff. Now I don't say I wouldn't say that's a good source. That's to get you through one of emergencies because it's not a full balance of your digestion and your how you can move. But if you went something go down, that's a good source. You hand me a sticky real quick because yeah. I'm gonna write these down. All right. Okay. Peanut butter is incredibly adaptable. It's not just for sandwiches. 
You can use it in smoothies, oatmeal, cookies, sauces, and even savory dishes. Oatmeal. Yuck. Its creamy texture and Wanna distinct taste, taste make it a sought-after ingredient in both sweet and savory creations. Now, considering its On longevity bananas? and nutritional value, it makes perfect sense to have peanut butter as part of your stockpile. I can when see it. sealed and stored correctly, it can last for months, if not years. Wow. Given the sometimes uncertain future of food availability and prices, having a jar of peanut butter in your pantry can be both a comfort food and a valuable nutritional asset. Mm -hmm. yeah. Number six, tuna in cans or pouches. I to love tuna, tuna, whether it's found in cans or pouches, stands oh, out as yeah, a fantastic no source of lean protein. Right what is that? This fish is jam-packed with those vital omega-3 fatty acids. You've probably heard about omega-3s, right? Well, they're a big deal when it comes to maintaining a healthy heart. So, every time you open a can or pouch of tuna, you're giving your heart a little boost of love. Now, we all live in a world where time is always ticking, and we often find ourselves in a race against it. This is where the real charm of canned or pouched tuna shines. Ugh. Wanna whip up something nutritious in a jiffy? Tuna's got your back. It's like having a quick meal ticket without skimping on all the good stuff your body needs. Tuna doesn't just stop at being heart healthy. It's also a treasure trove of essential me. vitamins and minerals. You go right For instance, <laughs> did you know that it's a notable source of vitamin D? Yep, the very same vitamin D that helps keep our bones strong and supports our immune system. And let's not forget about selenium, a mineral that plays a crucial role in metabolism and in thyroid it. function. White albacore All tuna. these benefits tucked inside that little can or pouch. For those who love playing around in the kitchen, Tuna is like a blank canvas. Its distinct meaty texture and slight salty kick make it a darling ingredient that's waiting to mingle with everything from crispy greens in salads to creamy sauces in pastas. And hey, if you're in a no-fuss mood, it's perfectly fine to enjoy it straight out of the can or pouch. Simplicity at its best. And for those thinking ahead or maybe even preparing for a rainy day, quite literally, stocking up on canned or pouched tuna is a brilliant idea. The beauty of it lies in its impressive shelf life. So even when it's challenging to get your hands on fresh fish, you'll always have a backup plan in your pantry, ensuring you've got a reliable protein source ready to go. Number five, oats. Packed with fiber, oats especially beta-glucans. Oats are known for their heart health benefits and ability to stabilize blood sugar levels. They also provide a good amount of protein, vitamins, and minerals. From a cooking perspective, oats are incredibly versatile. They can be turned into a heartwarming porridge, used in baking, made into granola, I love some good or even yeah, blended sure. into smoothies. Raisin, cinnamon, the possibilities nutmeg. are endless. Their neutral flavor means Vegan they can butter. be both sweetened and spiced up, making them fit Berries. into various dishes oh, and cuisines. In terms of stockpiling, oats, especially in their whole form, have a commendable shelf life. Mm -hmm. Stored in a cool, dry place, they can last for years without losing their quality. Wow. With the unpredictability of global events and the potential for food shortages, having a supply of oats guarantees you a nutritious breakfast or ingredient ready to be transformed into a satisfying meal. Number four, potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes those earthy tubers, potatoes. have been a staple in many cultures for centuries. Though. No, because I'm thinking about potatoes. Yeah, if some go down, yes, I get it. But then within, if you hold those potatoes just for next month, they gonna have, they gonna they gonna have body parts. I'm interested to see what the shelf life like. How he's gonna talk about you gonna to have, store and you protect. Have, you the have roots. ten toes down on the potatoes. They be yeah. just like this. I'm like, how are you? Unless you, you know, cut them up and go ahead and freeze them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Yeah. They're a rich source of carbohydrates, making them an excellent energy food. Beyond just carbs, they provide essential nutrients like vitamin C, vitamin B6, and potassium. Despite being high in carbohydrates, they have a low glycemic index, which means they release sugar slowly into the bloodstream. Really? I don't know. In the like world potatoes. of cooking, potatoes are incredibly versatile. They're so good. They can be mashed, fried, roasted, yes. boiled, or even turned into <coughs> soups. From the comforting sauteed. mashed potatoes to the crispy fries and the hearty <coughs> potato soups, they fit into any meal, Just be it about. breakfast, lunch, or dinner. True. If you're considering foods to stockpile, Potatoes, especially in a cool, dark, and well-ventilated area, can last for weeks or even months. Really? They provide a reliable source of energy and nutrition, wow. especially during times when fresh produce might be scarce. They love some bark Just remember to check them periodically now. for... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like they were made going bad. 
Let's maybe that's, yeah, maybe yeah, that's the dirt. Okay. I was about to say, you need to throw them potatoes. Well, I hope they don't yes. make it to the store. Sprouts or signs of rot. Number three, dried pasta, pasta, often made from durum wheat, is another essential pantry staple. It's an excellent source of carbohydrates, providing the necessary energy to fuel our daily activities. While regular pasta is nutritious in its own right, there are also whole wheat and alternative grain versions that offer additional fiber and nutrients. The culinary uses of pasta are endless. From spaghetti to fusilli, each shape offers a unique texture and pairs differently with sauces and ingredients. Whether it's a simple aglio e olio, a rich bolognese, or a creamy alfredo, pasta can be the backbone of countless delicious dishes. For stockpiling purposes, dried pasta is ideal. It has a long shelf life and can be stored for extended periods without losing its quality. In uncertain times or during food shortages, a packet of pasta can be turned into a filling and nutritious meal with just a few additional ingredients. Number two, dried seaweed. Seaweed, particularly in dried form, is a nutrient-dense food often overlooked outside of Asian cuisines. It's packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Seaweed is notably rich in iodine, a crucial element for thyroid function. Culinary-wise, dried seaweed can be rehydrated and added to soups, salads, or even used as Yucky. wraps in dishes like sushi. Its unique umami weird. flavor adds depth to many dishes, making it a favorite among chefs and home cooks alike. Given its compact nature when dry, like seaweed right is there. an excellent addition to any food stockpile. With its long shelf life and dense nutrient profile, it ensures that even in minimalistic meals, you're getting a boost of essential vitamins and minerals. Number one. Plus with seaweed, if you want to replace potato chips and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you get one of those little packs just like that. They get them at um, Kirkland's. Uh, they're not sponsoring this video, but uh, at they, Costco or and Costco's in one of those places. They and they have uh, and they just really satisfy that crunch, salt kind of taste. But they're one hundred percent healthy. One canned chicken. Uh, you know, it's funny how I'm some people turn up down. their noses at know, it, what is that? assuming it's inferior to fresh chicken. But let me tell you, it's a game changer in many scenarios. Fresh chicken, as much as we love it, has its limitations. It can go bad quickly, yep. and there's the added hassle of cleaning and cooking. But canned chicken? Oh, it's got your back. Never thought about Sitting that. Sitting snugly in its can, it boasts a long shelf life, making it perfect for those days you forget to defrost something for dinner or when you're prepping for potential emergencies. And the best part? No waiting around. This chicken's already cooked. That's right. You can just pop that can open. And voila, you've got yourself some ready-to-eat protein. On the nutritional front, it's right up there with its fresh counterpart. It's loaded with all those essential amino acids, vitamins, and minerals that our bodies crave. If you've ever been in a rush to whip up a meal, you'll know the value of time. And that's where canned chicken truly shines. Oh, yeah, Want a quick like chicken salad? Meat. Done. <laughs> it does. That it, looked like pie. It's meat. like we take the chicken, we take, we take the legs, the the thigh of the chicken may even take some pig and just put it all in there and make that that's what it looks like like you Gross. like when you eat vienna sausages and it's just it's really just you don't know what that is i can never eat vienna i sausages. did i used to tell them things oh up back in the day you get, you get them for like dollar general and stuff like that and go eat that stuff how about adding some meaty goodness to your sandwich or soup easy peasy and if you're feeling a bit fancy Ooh, that looks good. you can always use it in casseroles or other dishes it's super versatile because it has this neutral flavor profile that plays it's nice with stuff. almost any cuisine out there. And for those of you who like to be prepared, whether it's for the zombie apocalypse or just a long winter, having canned chicken in your storage is like having a gold mine. It's a trusty protein source for times when getting fresh poultry feels like mission impossible. So the next time you're grocery shopping, maybe toss a can or two into your cart. It might just be the convenient lifesaver you didn't know you needed. Hmm. Thank you for tuning in, fellow preppers. Uh, if you found this information valuable, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment below about which item you'll be stockpiling first. Your feedback helps us bring more insightful content your way. And a big thank you for watching. Okay, good. Was people. that a moan? Man, so I would not have thought about potatoes i would mm -hmm. not have thought about potatoes because he said in a nice cool ventilated place they could last for months i'm like wow because they well you know what let me not say that they 
we've kept him here for a couple of months. Yeah. But they still may start growing those little things out of it. But that doesn't mean it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean it's bad. So I could definitely see us getting a few things on this list. Canned chicken is not one of them. Yes, it is. You would want, you would do canned chicken? Yeah. Okay. Because think about it. Think about it, babe. When, when whatever happens goes down, people are going to empty the stores of that food. Yeah. Those foods will be empty. It's just us. Man, all the people have a bunch of family. Have a lot of kids. Well, for the good old vegetarian, I'm definitely going to Oh, yeah. All your stuff will be right down now. No, all your stuff wouldn't be touched. Well, no. I mean, beans. Oh, we I would have to Walmart. do beans, vegetables. It was vegetables. ransacked. But all the vegetables and all the veggie products, tofu stuff, yeah. looked like it had just been stocked. So I'll have to... <laughs> Shut up. Get me a couple of like, it's going to be beans, you know, veggies. We already start getting stuff anyway. We got yeah. frozen. We also have some canned. Um, but I need to get a couple of the um, hot, uh, impossible just, you know, to have a couple. That's like still highly processed. So yeah. I'm really pulling away from it. But I do want some links and I do want some impossible burgers. Yeah, because that stuff lasts 40 years in that little container. And um, maybe like something for some spaghetti. But I know on the list, peanut butter, you know. Well, too, pretty much all of it, because you'll eat the ground turkey, you'll eat the tuna, and you'll eat the chicken. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, but all right, guys, just want to say this is definitely something that can raise your level of awareness in regards to foods. what to get when in need of preparing for, we don't know what's to come, but yeah. for prepping, these are items that will definitely last in your refrigerator, I'm sorry, in your pantry, or someplace that you can store for an extended amount of time. Get your deep freezer, too. Yes, and go and check out the video we did on SIBO and Snapper in regards to prepping because we actually go in some specific details about, you know, emergency evacuation, all that other good stuff when it comes to water filtration and all that kind of stuff. We kind of tap in a little bit more over there, mm. so go and check that out. But I just wanted to raise, raise your level of awareness in, in regards to food items that you could get that are very cost efficient that could last and go a long way. Yep. All right, guys, so I appreciate it. If you find this video of value, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more content or things to raise your level of awareness, subscribe to the channel, share it, and let's get in that comment section and chop it up. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah.